Hi, I'm Adam and I've been cycling around the world now for the last 400 days on this bike. I'm in Vancouver and this video is going to show you my kit and equipment that I've been cycling around the world with. First I'm going to start with the handlebar bags. In here, in this big yellow bag is all my sleeping stuff. So in there is a sleeping pad, a sleeping uh, bag, my big jacket and I've actually got some waterproof clothes in there which also big bulky stuff which doesn't need all that much space. In here is a tent. This is the Mont, a Mont Bell tent from Japan, which, uh, yeah, it's done a pretty good job actually. It's a one person tent. I uh, bought it in Japan. I'm not too sure how widely accessible that is overseas. But yeah, pretty good. I've got both these bags connected with these two straps. There's actually two straps here, these volley straps, and they, yeah, do a really good job of securing anything pretty much to the bag. Okay, so I'm gonna take apart this front part, taking the volley straps off. It's really easy to take apart. Just undo this and it all just falls off. Pretty easy. However, it stays really firm and certain. Tent, I put that up a few times in other videos, so I'm not gonna put that up here, but it's fairly lightweight. I'll put all the weights actually in the description to this video. All the items of equipment I've got, all the weights there. So in here, this is all my sleeping stuff. Let me empty this. Sea to Summit dry bag. This is a 20 litre bag, as you can see here. In here. I have a jacket, so my waterproof North Face jacket, which lives in there. This is my Sea to Summit um, Comfort Plus roll sleeping pad, really good sleeping pad that I'm super happy with. This is a mountain equipment down jacket, used for when it's super cold, and also my pillow pair of waterproof trousers, again these are Columbia trousers, just an outdoor pair of Gore-Tex trousers. In the bottom of here, this here is my sleeping bag, it's a uh, Ro Robins Caucus 600. Straps have snapped here but it's doing a good job, doesn't need replacing for the time being. And that is this bag, empty and complete. So here we go, my handlebar bag. At the moment, in there, my camera, which I'm filming with, normally sits here on the top. I have a pocket book of Spanish, which helps me to learn Spanish as I'm going. My wallet, bit of padding there, my glasses. And then I've got my passport, and important documents, cables and batteries hidden in here. As you can see at the moment, a load of cables. This is a headphones and an iPhone charging cable. I've got the DJI Spark drone, which sits in here. That's new, I don't normally put this in here, but I'm gonna try my drone in this bag just to see how it goes with the remote control, so then it's easily accessible. And below there are two lenses for my camera. I've got a 25mm lens, as you can see an Olympus 25mm lens, goes down to 1.8 aperture, sexy lens. This is my zoom lens, this is a Panasonic 45 to 150 lens on my Micro Four Thirds. I have a buff, keeps a bit of padding, also used as a eye mask when I'm sleeping, and some random bits of tissue, which has probably been used to clean my lenses from time to time. Right at the bottom of here, there's another lens, lens cap, but right at the bottom is a waterproof <laughs> phone case. Doesn't get used an awful lot, but that is still stuck in there. Underneath here, I have a little double charger for the US. Super cheap, I actually found that on the road as I was cycling through Yukon, which is random. So there we go. And here, this is an anchor power bank. That's how I charge my stuff. I don't have any solar chargers, just use the anchor. Continuing on, from what I have at the handlebars, I have in here some bear spray, a coffee cup, which I sometimes use to put brews in, nothing else in these two, I keep them fairly light to be honest. I've got a watch telling me the time, GPS just tracks how far I've gone. Occasionally I put my phone here, but not all that often, and I have a Bluetooth speaker, a Bose speaker which lives on here. And yeah, plays music. And that is my cockpit. 
So here on the front forks, I've got two uh, dry bags. These dry bags are salsa bags in salsa carry anything cages. These big old cages actually aren't really designed to fit on a surly dish trucker. I'm going to take one of these dry bags off and I'll show you how I fitted these cages to the bag, to the bike itself. So inside here, make sure these weigh no more than two kilograms. I think this is about 1.5 kilograms. I've got all the weights just here. So I'll, let, I'll show you what's in this in a second. Let me show you how I've attached the cages. The cage requires two mounts. This mount here is okay, so that's attached. This mount here, there's no more screws. So what I've done is the classic electrical tape and a couple of cable ties. And it keeps it tight and I've had no problems with that. There's a cable tie here at the bottom, cable tie here, cable tie here. Three cable ties and some tape. Okay, let me show you what's inside my left front fork bag. So in here, this is my cook set, which I'm using an MSR whisper light. So I have in here the actual cooker, which is a little bit mucky now, but there we go. This is my MSR cooker with a lighter. This is the flame protector, which helps to keep the, the flame with the wind. This is my waterproof cap, seal skin, waterproof hat. I have a water filter by Soya, Soya Mini. Really good water filter, I'm very happy with this. I've got a couple of seal skin gloves. These are my waterproof gloves for when it gets really wet and I'm cycling. This here is for the water filter, the syringe. It helps to clean out any of the muck and the residue from the filter. I've got a small first aid kit with some basics, some plasters, scissors, bandages, um, iodine and some cream and sterile wash. I've got this is my net which goes over my head for insects and for bugs. A golf ball. This golf ball is for massaging my, bod my legs when I need to. And I have two, oh, there we go, two inner tubes down at the bottom of the bag. Okay, let me take this bag off. The bags are pretty easy to take off. Just a couple of straps which come with the, the dry bag attaching them here. Let me show you what's inside this bag. Fairly similar to the last one. Well, in this one I have some washing line to hang my clothes, a sink, a Sea to Summit kitchen sink. I've got some detergent for washing my clothes. These are waterproof shoe covers to keep my socks from getting wet. I've got two of these obviously. Here's my pedal wrench. Oh, this is a bit bent, but this is for cleaning my chain. And in here, bag of cable ties, puncture repair kit with spoke tool, a spoke tool in here, and puncture repair kit, stuff I might need instantly to suit to fix. I also carry a permanent marker with my puncture repair kit to mark the tube where the puncture is. Some chain loop in a bag, a rag for cleaning my chain, and the bottom is a lot more repair stuff. So in here I've got cables, spare brake and gear cables, I've got a couple of hose clamps. These are really useful at just fixing anything, bolting anything. An emergency spoke kit. A load of bolts and nuts and bolts in here. Nuts and bolts in here. And this is a chain tool. I we need to break a chain. So that's all the equipment for the front of the bike. All of that equipment comes to a weight of 13.3 kilograms, which as you'll soon see, 
is lighter than what I have on the back. And so I'm using a Revelate Designs half frame bag. Bought this in Alaska and it served me really well. It's got two sides. I'm going to show you the left hand side first and then I'll go over to the other side. This side's a lot more narrow and there's not that much space in here. So really all I keep in there are thin items that I use fairly frequently. So on the left hand side I have a Gerber multi-tool which does pretty much everything I need it to do. I've got a Allen key multi-tool. It's pretty rubbish if I'm being honest but uh, it does everything poorly. Pen, rubber band, got a tyre lever, fire, nail clippers, I've got five spare spokes for my rear wheel, knife, fork and spoon, allen key and a cable tie, different size allen key and another cable tie. That's pretty much it. So on this side, been here, I've got a load of snack bars at the moment, but that often changes depending on how far I'm travelling. Toothpaste and my toothbrush lives in here. Got some washing liquid for washing my pots. I don't know if that's going to stay in there or not. Toothbrush. I have my wash kit. Sunglasses. A front bike light. Another spare tube. And in here is my pump. Come on, it's all velcroed in. Here's my pump. It's a Topeak Road Morph pump. It's a really good job. In the centre, I'm also carrying a small water bottle and two gas bottles. I carry two so I can, ex I can basically have low resupply for maybe two weeks of gas. It's cheap, it's easy to do. This small water bottle is just for drinking as I'm cycling. My rear bag is attached with these bungees. I'm going to take this red bag off. And I'll go into that bag later. We're going to pannier one, pannier two. Let's go into the pannier on the left hand side. So here we go. Left hand side pannier being emptied. I have one boot, Gore-Tex Solomon boot. The other one is in the other pannier to balance the weight out. I also carry a litre of water in each pannier. Uh, just this is a good shape, the size bottles, it fits on the it fits onto my water filter perfectly. I've got my sleeves, which I wear when it's too sunny, my cycling gloves, a towel for what for drying my body, hard drives in here. I carry two hard drives, both two terabyte. This is not a first aid kit. In here, I have all my electronics. All the charging cables, I have the drone, I've got a load of dongles, um, my MacBook, my camera charger, everything fits in here. I've got some rope. This rope is used to hang my food away from the burrs. Some wet wipes. This is a SD card case. My Cita Summit pots and pan set in here. I have my chopping board and bowl to eat from in here. I've got the lid and my cook set. This is my stove. Pretty happy with this. It folds away really small. The only problem is you can't use it on a, on a no, naked flame. You have to use it on, on a gas flame. My towel for washing my pots and pans. My spare emergency power bank given to me by a friend in Alaska. And the cook set maintenance kit. This is my other hard drive case. Currently have no other hard drives but I've got my compass in there. Beard shaving kit. There we go, that is the left pannier. Let's go to the right. Okay, this is the right pannier that I'm going to go through. Here's my second boot. 
waterproof, waterproof Gore-Tex Solomon uh, GTX, I think they are. There's a load of clothes in here that I often wear when I'm cycling, so cycling shorts. They, I normally wear these as I'm cycling. I usually wear these as well. My trousers, cheap pair of trousers with zip-off shorts. T-shirt where I normally wear. Waterproof socks, new addition to the club, ready for the rain through Oregon and Washington. A jumper, found this in a dumpster the other day, which is rather nice. I also carry a litre of water in here, so I've got two litres of water in my panniers. That depends on where I am and how much water I need. And in here is my little bag of clothes. In my clothes I have socks, I've got a shirt, a Heli Hansen insulated top, I have a pair of boxes, these are like Under Armour and I have two more pairs of socks, very warm pair, it's a normal white pair. In here is my laptop in a Thule case, I think that's how you pronounce it. In the case I also have a map of Canada, my laptop and I have a map of the world, sticker book. It pads it out a little bit more and it's nice to be able to talk to people when I doubt the internet and to be able to use those two things. As references, I've got a load of letters, bank cards, US dollars, currency, um, postcards for patrons. And I've got my US flag. I also actually still have my Yorkshire flag in here which I've not flown for a long time. But Yorkshire flag is still here with me, just need to get that put onto a pole. US flag is folded away and that is ready for when I re-enter the United States in a few days. And this is my rucksack. In my rucksack, I've got this in Japan. I don't carry an awful lot if I'm being honest, other than food. Uh, this is really different depending on what country I'm in, if I'm carrying anything in there. Other than food, the only thing I have is a hydration water bladder, which I use again depending on the terrain and what I need but I'll have for example peanut butter, tortilla wraps, this instant meal duck usually carry these but somebody gave me them for free, got some green tea, tea bags, got a big old bag of pasta Some salt, uh, cheese, rice, oats, honey, a lot of instant rice packets. As you see, it's all Ziploc bags to keep it waterproof. And here is a load more instant noodles and more instant meals. So really the food, it looks big, it looks bulky because I'm carrying a fair amount. But uh, carrying this amount means I don't have to spend as much money in the long run on the road. It's much cheaper to cook your own food, to have meals, than it is to have to buy food in restaurants in North America. So that is all my kit and equipment pretty much summed up. The bike I'm riding is a Surly Dis Trucker. It uh, was brand new and I bought it from the United Kingdom and I've shipped it out across with me. I've got disc, disc brakes, normal disc brakes. The handlebars I'm using are Surly temp Tempera bars. And I am running a 26 inch wheels. The tyres at the moment are a pair of specialised tyres. It doesn't really matter to be honest. I often just buy the tyres that I can get at the time. The rear rack is a Tubus logo. I think that's what it is. So it's just a Tubus rack no fenders and no other real additions to the, what the Surly Dish Trucker runs normally. Really happy with the bike and I've got no, other than having the wide handlebars there's not much I've changed on it to be honest. So pretty happy. For, as a lock I use just a small cable lock. Don't try to leave my bike unattended ever. Just to keep it with me. You can never trust any lock. It just keeps honest people honest. So this is my bike. My setup it has been 
over 400 days on this bike and I would say the bike touring setup has absolutely changed over time. Definitely was conventional tourer whereas now I think I'm a bit of a hybrid between bike packing and bike touring, especially with the rolls, the frame bags and the front handlebar, the, the front uh, drive bags on, this, on the forks. And we're using a Brooks B17 saddle, again really happy with. Uh, nothing I'm not happy with. If I wasn't happy with any part of my bike, I would have changed it by now. One of the key points is that this is just a bit of insight of what I'm using and what I'm carrying. It's not what you should carry. I think whatever we choose to use as bike tourers, everyone's setup is different. Um, I'm going to give you a few of the weights and stats of my bikes. I've uh, today weighed everything, but I'm not going to do it in full detail. I'm just going to give you my front. So the front, that includes the two drive bags on the forks and all the stuff you can see here at the front of the bike weighs 13.3 kilograms. In the middle of the bag, the frame bag, the water bottles and the fuel comes to 4.16 kilograms. In the rear, the two panniers, the big red bag, all comes to 19.33 kilograms. So that includes water, food, everything. If you remove the water and food, the, I've got two kilograms of water at the moment, plus the hydration pack, so that's, that's two and a bit kilograms, plus I've got six kilograms of food. So that's eight, so it'd be 10 kilograms on the back, 18 when I'm carrying food and water. So really, it's a fairly lightweight setup, I think. It's not as light as you can get, but for around the world travel, extended live travel, to be able to film, to carry a drone, to carry a laptop, and all the camera equipment, it's pretty heavy. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, I found that useful. If you've got any other questions, write a comment below. and. I hope you look forward to eventually when I get round to making videos about my time in Vancouver. Just going to enjoy the rest of the city.